bit of uh, Easter scroll sawing and wood carving that we're going to uh, be sharing with you. Uh, I'm going to go through all of our usual checks as well. Um, but to start off, I'm going to show you what happens when it goes wrong. Okay, basically this project, um, I've marked it out on a piece of ash. Okay, so we're just going to turn this around. Apologies for this, I just check everything, make sure everything's working as we want it to. But yeah, I've marked it out on a piece of ash. So we've got our base and also a piece of mahogany. So stack cutting, cutting out more than one layer is a method that we use a lot. Um, but I've got a little bit of a concern when it comes to cutting out this bottom layer now because this one here, here we go. Problems that we face as woodworkers. There was a natural flaw in the wood, a void running through that piece of mahogany that wasn't easy to see uh, when we actually, um, when we started marking out the project. So, yeah. So, there we are. Right, everything seems to be working okay there. Um, yeah, so basically, when I cut this one out, there's a good chance that that void, that floor in the wood, is, is in this piece of wood as well, because it's cut from the same piece. So, not the best of starts, but hopefully, I can catch that floor, and potentially I can use some of the uh, thin Starbond CA glue and stop it from breaking in two. But there we are, these things happen. We'll make the best of it. Um, if there is a flaw in it, it'll probably end up on display for us. But to give you an insight then into the project, this is uh, an Easter theme project, but we've also taken a little bit of inspiration from the Celts for this Celtic weave surround. We've got the cross with the silhouetted candle uh, as the main feature and then two little rabbits either side. So there we are, we'll demonstrate the cutting out. We'll start out with the pierce work, so cutting in and around our design. Then we'll cut the surround, and we go across the workbench, and we'll show you how we carve it out. Any questions as we go along? Any thoughts? Oh, we got Mark there. Hello, Mark, hope all is well. And I can see a few others joining us. Hope all is well with everyone. Any thoughts, any questions? Let us know as we go on. And I'm intrigued to know how far this bit of uh, this split, I can't see that it's running further up the piece of wood, but we'll see as we go along. We'll see how far and how bad that floor in the wood actually is. That's a good start. I can feel with this that my, uh, my mask has, has come a bit loose. So first things first, we'll tighten it up a bit. Make sure that's on properly. And we try again. Let's get cut in. Any thoughts, any questions as we go, let us know.
Hello to Gabby as well. Been some nice demonstrations for Gabby over the last few weeks. Mainly now doing a bit of uh, wood turning, but always nice to see what you're making. And always nice to know what everybody's making. As you may uh, know, we mentioned it in our, our last live stream from two weeks ago. Um, we missed last week because we had uh, a film crew in here watching what we do. So that was a bit of fun. Uh, they were ended up where they were mainly filming. Spent more time filming with Dad, Thomas Woodcarver, because um, yeah, it worked out. My son, Sammy, he had a, a football, uh, a little uh, football, well, not a, not a tournament, but a few matches. And so because I had to run off with that, it was a bit easier to film it with Dad. So uh, yeah, good fun. Hopefully it'll be useful and what the film crew were looking for. I just stopped there because I know what's happening. Because we put that, um, because we take that piece out, the little, um, where is it? I think it's your, this piece. Because we take that piece out, what happens? You get a little block of wood and it just drops down slightly. So let's find it. Yeah, there it goes. There we are. That little piece of wood there, because it drops down slightly, I'm pushing, and this is where we can um, sort of partially damage the blade and uh, burn the wood as well. So make work for ourselves, basically. Because it's there, it's catching the back of the gap. 
that that would sit into. And I'm pushing and not getting anywhere. So just stop the machine, take that little block away, and you can carry on cutting. Oh, who else has joined us there? Oh, we got the carver. Hello there, hope all is well. Looking forward to your next uh, video. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how things go with case knives. Well worth checking out what the carver's up to. Exciting times ahead. Uh, die just a quick one. As I noticed, you struggling a bit with the blade. Yeah. Once you put the sellotape uh, in the piece, would it be easier to pierce the holes? Yeah. Um, spot on. I do that. Um, I tell you what it was, Mark. I couldn't find the hole. But yeah, what I do, I can show you one here because I haven't pierced those ones. Before I start cutting, I get a spike and I spike them all. Um, for some reason, I couldn't find the hole on that one then. Um, but basically, yeah, these ones I haven't done because I don't need to work on, but that's what I do. I go, bump, like so. Bump, just use something just to pierce back through it. Um, so yeah, just going through the sellotape. But sometimes um, you just can't quite get the blade in the, in the right position. But yeah, pierce all of those holes and get cutting. Right, and on that note, It'll be mask back on, and we'll carry on this cut. This one as well. Um, in terms of how designing comes about, originally I was asked to do this design on a love spoon. And I thought, oh, that's nice. And then I thought, hmm, I can make that into a candle holder. So I made it into a candle holder with just a standard surround. And now, I gotta be honest, I, more and more, I enjoy doing Celtic weaves and a lot of my work now is more and more taking influence from the Celts. Excuse me, so I replaced the standard surrounds with the Celtic surrounds. And um, I think the Celtic designs, they, they just take everything to a different level. So wherever I can incorporate it into what I do, I, I, I do include it. So yeah, that's where it was inspired.
Now I did that side first because um, there was a little gap uh, that I hadn't updated on the drawing um, that here, see I filled it in, so I connected it there. So um, yeah, I was just making sure that I remembered to get that cut correct. So this design then, just checking it, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of pierce work. Then cut out the surround. As you've seen, we pre-prepared -prepa our base. Although I can't remember where I put it. Ah, it's just over here. Um, so yeah, that's all ready. And then once we've cut everything out, we'll be ready for some hand carving. Right, let's have a little look. Um, the first video for Case should be available Friday. I'm nursing a sick kid today. Oh dear. Oh, sorry, sorry to hear. So I hope I hope they get get well soon. Um, ours are just they've had a wonderful time. They're all um, uh, they they've all started their holidays, their Easter holidays. What we got here as well. Greetings from Italy. Thank you. Oh, and I, I, you like what we do? Brilliant. Glad to hear it. And it's, uh, it's greetings from West Wales. Started making fretwork projects thanks to your videos. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow, I'm delighted to hear it. Well, any uh, if you're looking for any designs, there's a lot of free designs available on our website as well. So uh, get across there if you want to make any uh, of the different projects. I think the center portion of this project is available on the uh, website. But yeah, anybody looking to make stuff, get on there and uh, get making. And that's, that's great to hear. I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying and uh, making stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all this uh, new content with the uh, the case knives. Um, if you're not subscribed to the Carver, and if you're not subscribed to Gabby as well, and you're interested in the wood turning, well worth checking out what everybody is doing. Um, yeah, it'll be a bit of an education for me because it's it's not something that I'm particularly familiar with because I've always used wood carving, chisels, and gouges as opposed to knives. 
I'm, I'm not too familiar with it, but I've had a little look. Um, got quite a quite a, a history of case knife, so uh, yeah, it'd be great to know a little bit more about it. And we always know that the uh, the carver's always making some great projects, so uh, I look forward to, to learning a bit more about case knives and uh, what you're going to make. I have a question as well for the carver, as I'm cutting this one out. Um, I think my favorite uh, product, and if you haven't seen it, make sure you get over to the carver's channel and have a watch, is uh, is, is reveal video of when he had his uh, case delivery is well worth a watch. Um, my favorite product, I think has gotta be the bottle opener hat. Um, I wanna know, have you used it yet? So, um, uh, oh, it's in there, appreciated the first project of Feather. Brilliant, sounds great. Yeah, so I wanna know, has that, has that hat with the bottle opener, has it had any use yet? Because uh, I thought it was a great little novel idea. Because of what we do, making gift items, we're always looking for um, different ideas and things like that. And uh, I thought it was a real novel uh, product that they come up with, a bottle opener on a, on a hat. Um, and it did get me thinking, I thought I'll have to get some bottle openers, that would be a good one to, to put on uh, some of the projects that we want.
that is all of our pierce work completed. There we go, right. Let's have a little look. Yes, Friday, I'm demonstrating the 18 plan. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, your daughter's got it. <laughs> She's let you borrow it. Brilliant, I love that hat. I thought that was great. Did you say that video was on Friday? I hope, hope it's not. I hope it's not too good. I just bought a small lathe because of Gabby. I'm not buying knives too. <laughs> this is getting expensive, Ma. Um, I still have a wooden plane, BA plane, uh, bottle opener, saw, all is good. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Yes, Friday, demonstrating with the 18 pattern, medium stock, stockman, brilliant. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Ah, oh, there we are. So everybody remember now, check that out on Friday. Check it out, I think, quite often now. Um, Gabby will be uploading. Gabby's been doing a few uploads on a Friday as well, and um, a few different days. So remember to check out Gabby's. And we'll have our usual Wednesday and then our Wednesday video upload. And then Friday, we got our, our short. And um, um, how can I, how, I'll have to think of a, a cryptic clue for our short that I'm planning for Friday. We'll see if it, it may end up being something else, but I'll think of my cryptic clue. So that's scroll sawing done. Now we're gonna have to separate the two layers away from each other. Ah, there we are. So that's done. We've got a little bit of sellotape, so I'll try and take that off. Um, and the one thing I'm gonna have to check here, yeah, I don't wanna rip off the design if I can help it. Let's have a look. And the one thing I'm gonna check is what I was talking about at the start, where we got those, this top layer should be fine. Famous last words, but yeah, it is. Now let's have a little look. Now look at that, at the moment, it'll probably go in a minute, but at the moment, I am not seeing, that seems to be okay. We got away with it in this piece of wood. So the base broke, but the good news, we cut our two layers and they're both fine. So there we are. So we'll be able to get two candle holders and all I'll do, I'll find another piece of mahogany and use it for the base for that. So just to show you on the back, you can see where we stuck the two layers together. So we'll have to sand all of this nicely. Um, this will go together. Now my wife always complains to me because I always put it, I always put the base uh, with the, where I've carved showing she always says it's going to be much nicer if you put it on the back. So um, I'll do as I'm told and I will stick that to the back. So 
Excuse me, the idea, the reason she says that is because you see the light shining through and it doesn't block the design. So that's why um, I will do as I'm told and uh, anything for a quiet life, do, do what Yelly tells me. Right, I'm going to move across to the other camera. Like so. It'll take me two seconds to run around with my chair. Highly sophisticated stuff. So you've got two cameras, but I've only got one chair. And if you've ever noticed my chair in uh, at, at different times when we're making things, you'll see that it's a bit of a, a bit of a disaster. I got in the vice there. You'll see that's actually at least a plaque that I worked on. Um, so yeah, that's what was in the vice there. But we'll tighten this one up, and we'll start doing a little bit of carving. Um, it's nice today as well for me because, oh, there you go, you can actually see my camera, my, my chair in shot. Right, so yeah, we got everything in shot okay. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, let me know in the comments, do you want me to move the camera a little bit closer? Um, it's no problem either way for me, so yeah, if you want the camera a little bit closer on what we're doing, let me know and I can move it in. Um, right, so the first thing I'm going to do is deal with the stop cuts and that is where we cut down into the woods if you're new to carving the wife is always right indeed you are spot on mark it saves a lot of a uh, lot of trouble if i uh, if i do as i'm told uh, and now the one thing as well my mallets are missing from the the bench at the moment if you haven't got a mallet um, and you want to use a bit of extra pressure. There's always the old school technique. You could just grab a piece of wood and tap it on the top. There we are. This is one of my best gouges as well. And the ferrule is split and the top is damaged because somebody um, uh, somebody has um, obviously hit it with a hammer at some stage. The carver's saying we're okay at the moment. What I can do, I'll carve like this for so long and then I'll zoom it in a bit. So we can have the best, the best of both worlds. Yeah, and now we're building up in the workshop towards Easter. Um, usually when we have uh, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Spot on, Bob. Hope all is good with you as well, Bob. Always great to hear from you. And always great to have a contribution. Yeah, we've had um, the, the first day of the Easter holidays for our, for our two boys. So they've had a great day today. They've had a, a few friends around, been playing in the, in the back here, playing a bit of football, a bit of rugby, and uh, generally enjoying themselves, which is nice. They've had a, a busy few days. Right, so you can see we're, again, doing our stop cuts in and around that... Um, uh, that cross design and also in and around the rabbits and carvings like this great fun to do you're always trying to work out as well when you're making different things how is this going to work out for us in terms of selling it in the uh, workshop is it going to be viable is it does it take us too long to make um, you know you're always trying to work it out and quite often you don't work it out, you make it, you put it on sale. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, you're back to the drawing board and design and make something else. But that's the beauty of wood carving and uh, making the different things. No rules, no regs, as you all know. Try things and see what works out best for you. Right, that's coming along there. So we need, what I'm actually doing, the, the reason I'm sort of half stopping is because I'm looking what I've done on the one side to try and work out what I'm then gonna do on the other side. So you're trying to match it up all the time. So sometimes I use the, the gouge. This one, um, we've got a lot of uh, questions about gouges. This one is a number three. And what it means is a very shallow sweep. So some of these, so for instance, this one here, as you can see, big difference between the two in the amount of sweep, the amount of curve on the gouge. So this would probably be, yeah, there we are, I can see it, it's a number six. So a much tighter curve. 
and then you have different lengths of gouge as well and of course the more you sharpen your gouges the more you uh, lose metal the shorter and the width as well goes so they, they, they become smaller as, as you use them right I'll just move that down in the vise always conscious that it doesn't go and uh, flip over as we're carving couple of taps and again and then this one we've turned the gouge around the other way so I'll do the same like so turn that gouge around and same again just like so and the uh, last stop cut there we go I think that's all marked out and now this is a nice part for myself because I get to see and you get to see the grain of the wood the character of the wood coming through as that paper is cut away it starts to reveal the design itself how the finished item is going to start to look and now this so far that's a nice piece of ash that we're carving sometimes ash can be really really hard don't see as much of it now as uh, as we used to it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a lot of it in the next few years with the ash dye back and then not a lot at all because uh, we've got quite a lot of problems with it but that is a nice piece nice character in the grain as well that's how it looks so we're cutting that down this way and so a lot of them what we're doing see the simple explanation of what we're doing and how we're doing it you get the depth that you want and then afterwards you put the detail so get the depth get that where you want it to and then afterwards add the detail and then when it's working on like the Celtic weave again we get the uh, the, the sort of depth down into the design and then afterwards we will bevel everything in both directions to get the shape that we want now recently um we've been having quite a few bespoke love spoon requests which is nice and um have we got any on the bench here oh there's a there's a few there that we're, we're working on so we got different ones, this one with different flowers on. Um, I'm trying to think some of the other requests. Oh, one, we got two actually with different castles on them. Um, there's a paw print, um, a Celtic cross. Uh, which other ones we got? Oh yeah, one with a, a symbol for two different countries. Yeah, so these always as well some of the the designs they give us ideas for some of the other projects that we can make one of my favorites for carving and i'm possibly i'm thinking about it this year's love spoon so we always have our spoon for the year so last year we had that one that we best based around a kind of message of hope for the future uh, this year's spoon i am thinking of um, uh, doing uh, birds, nature, that sort of thing. Because I love carving that, and I thought we could do a really nice spoon uh, in and around that. And I've got a few videos that I've been working on recently where we've got all sorts of uh, designs, all sorts of birds. One of the videos coming up, we've done a cockerel. Uh, we've done a woodpecker, a, I think we, do we include the a robin? All sorts of different birds, I like, I like doing stuff. One of my favourite things to carve. And then of course bringing it back to this one, we've got the rabbits. So we also like carving animals. And in all sorts of different forms, so these ones on here, they're relatively simple. The rabbits that we're carving. But we uh, we also carve more detailed and elaborate versions too. 
Now you can see the scroll saw gives us that huge advantage where we've got two of these now cut out ready. So that's a big, big saving for us. And that's a, a video that is currently being worked on, uh, focusing on some of the money saving tips and tricks that we use. Because if you're interested in uh, woodworking as a business, we've learned a few tricks of the trade over the years to help us save and make a bit of money. So yeah, we go through all the different ways we do it. So hopefully a few ideas that will help out. That really is a lovely piece of wood. Carving nicely. Sometimes see the ash, it can be very, very hard and very, very brittle. But that is is quite quite soft. It's it's carving easily. It can really uh, pose us a few challenges sometimes, but this one at the moment is not at all. So again, marking that out. Take that tape off. I know as well. It's not ideal that we're cutting through. Um, paper. I know it does take the edge off our gouge. Our gouge is ever so slightly, ever so slightly more quickly than um, if we didn't use that paper design. But by having those guidelines to follow, it saves us so much time that it's worth doing. Right, last two cuts in this direction. And that's something that we've uh, highlighted a number of times. I carve everything in one direction because I sit down to carve. Once we've carved it all in the one direction, we can turn it around in a vise and carve everything back in the opposite direction. Right. So, so on the other side. There we are, just like so. Now, a nice part with this one is as we're carving, it's a piece of wood with a lot of character in it. So again, I can turn it round to show you all. There you go. So you can see there's a little line in there, just natural lines in there. This is just a bit of the CA glue where we stuck different layers together. Um, but we've got plenty of character and interest in those designs. Right. I always feel that when it comes to what we do, when it comes to the woodworking, um, if you've got character in the design and character in the wood, it gives us such an advantage because you've got that natural beauty of the wood before you even start working. So we've nearly got our levels that we want for our rabbit. And then we're just going to put some basic detail on the rabbit design. Right, so we've got our levels. That's what we're looking for, first of all. There's a few different colours. We've got the, the colours of the growth lines, but I think this piece of wood at some stage, possibly during the drying out, has had a little bit of exposure to water. Now it's not spalted, and that's where you get you know either fungus or a lot of water getting into the design, but I can just see something there where I just get the impression that there has been a little bit of water has got onto this piece of wood as it's dried out. And in some ways it's making it easier for us to carve because it's a little bit of water, but not too much. Either that or it's just a natural feature of the wood that it's got a lighter streak in it. But that is the impression it gives me is that at some stage 
a little bit of water has has been present. Right, so you can't go around there. Uh, now from here, we carve everything on these twists back in the opposite direction. Like so. And the, when it comes to the twist then, it's done in a few different stages. So we get all the depth onto it. Uh, you mentioned the symbol for countries. My cousin got engaged last year and I made for them one with an English rose. And a... Is it is it is it a spelling on there, Mark? Is it is it supposed to be a pony or or is it something I'm not familiar with? Um, yeah, that's the beauty of the love spoon, as you know, Mark. There's so many different things that you can make, <laughs> and <laughs> you can really make them personal. Um, and we do, we get requested to do all sorts of uh, different things. Um, it's why, you know, it's a big part of why what we do is, is always a fascinating thing because there's always something different that we're being asked to make. We're now sort of building up where we're, we're pretty much full when it comes to uh, our order book which is uh, a good position to be in, but it's, it's because we, we can't take on too many requests at any given time. So until I can clear the latest batch of spoons, we'll, uh, we'll have to get rid of those before we can take on new designs. Here we are, we've got Nico coming in. You got, have you got some trouble? Yeah. Oh dear, something in your eye? Which he's not supposed to be doing. What did I tell him earlier? Is it okay? Now don't don't use your don't use your dirty top to, to clean it. Do me a favour, go through, go through Granny's in there, okay? And you need to clean it with clean hands and clean it out properly, okay, with something that's clean, not your dirty top. Oh dear. Ah it's a flower. Ah, there we are. I'm being educated here. It's like a wild rose. Ah, lovely. Oh, fantastic. See, this is the great thing. About, I'll have to have a look at that now. Huh? Um, not one that I'm familiar with. Um, so not one that I've been requested to do, Mark. So, uh, oh, sounds like a nice, sounds like a nice design. I like the idea of that. It's a great thing to be designing out all the, uh, the different things. You can hear it in the background now. We've got the boys, as we mentioned, they're enjoying their holiday. I should design. I actually did Lion King theme for Sammy on his love spoon when he was born. And Nico, I did Winnie the Pooh. I should have done a pair of monkeys. That would have been more appropriate. Because they are, they're uh, climbing up the tree, swinging round in the tree. And... Uh, up to, as we refer to it, monkey business. And it usually ends up with uh, one of them having something in their eye or something like that. I've got to say, it's usually Nico. And it's usually caused by Sammy. But that's boys being boys. I'm just glad to see them out in the garden playing doing stuff and not sitting there on their tablets that's what I don't like seeing is when they're not not doing not enjoying themselves doing doing things out and about I've made rattles for each of my children fantastic brilliant that's one of your most popular ones that you make isn't it is the is the rattles yeah lovely yeah uh, a lovely item a lot of work in them though Gotta work with the turn in. Well, I've got to say, this is one seriously nice piece of wood. I had no idea that a it was going to carve like this. This is going to be a really. This is going to have a lovely finish to it. I'm a bit. It's a bit of a shame 
But I haven't turned this into a love spoon because it's going to be such, such a nice finish. Oh, they're threatening to tell on one another now. They've had a, a, a fun day. They've had a bit of a, a bit of a party with their friends. And my most unpopular video, really. Wow. I wonder why that is. That's what happens, see? I've, done, I've had a few of those where you think, oh, people will love this, people will enjoy this. And, um, and especially, see, because the, with the rattle, um, that was, you, you turned a lot of that, and the, the wood turning demonstrations, they, they, they're quite popular. Yeah, two tired boys there now. The weather is good for the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Still cold out there, mind you, Mark. Um, we've had to be going up. Dad is actually, he's up on the roof at the moment because uh, unfortunately, one of the few jobs that he didn't do himself on the house that he had somebody in to do. And um, in the storms a week or two ago, water started flowing in everywhere. And um, when we investigate it, it's because the job hasn't been done properly. So uh, he's had a, he's not really happy because uh, it's one of the few ones he didn't do himself and it hasn't been done as it should have been. So he doesn't want anybody to do the job because um, they haven't done it properly. So a bit, a bit frustrating. I've been up and down as, as well, and my brother Matt, he's been up and down. So we're trying to sort it out. And I'm hoping that we, he's he'd be about halfway through by now. But yeah, not not a happy Thomas the Woodcarver. I'm sure at some stage we'll be uh, hearing about it on the live stream. So we're missing him there today. And he had a tiring week last week with this filming. But he was very, uh, he was, he was very patient with them. I think because I do uh, the live streams and I do the videos and stuff like that, I'm not as patient with them because they, they like you to do it again and again and again. And I tend to be a, a bit of a, a one take wonder. So they, if it takes more than one take, I tend to be telling them, come on, we've got to move on to the next thing. But in fairness, I was a bit limited for time because of Sammy's football. Right, now we're really starting to see the character of this wood. There's three colors in it. So I don't know whether it comes across. There's a lighter shade here. And it could just be a little bit, it could be the sapwood, possibly, but it, it kind of, yeah, that, that could be it, as opposed to it having, you know, water damage to it. It could just be where it's the, this is more heartwood and this, this could just be catching the sapwood, but quite soft. Looking at it, we are well on our way. Like so. And watch, that, watch that block so it doesn't fall out. So we push that back in. Take that last little piece of wood off the top. Like so. And that is carving out most of the design. From here now, we're going to do a bit of sanding. And once we've done that sanding, we just got to add the detail to our rabbits. Okay, let's get sanding. We're just shaping. If they want multiple takes, you can send them to my shop. I never realised there were so many ways to screw. <laughs> oh yes, there's plenty of things that can go wrong. 
what it is, is that, I don't know, I always seem to be up against time. And so I, I, I kind of, I've got a system now. I've got a system when it comes to it because any sort of wasted time is, it's extremely frustrating. So I have to have my, uh, my system in place. And um, I tell you the difficulty we had with filming last week. Um, they were working on a script. And what I tend to do, it's not, it's not that what I do is completely unscripted. I, I do, uh, I mean, the live streams, I have my, my script is, 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 there isn't a script. It's, it's as you, as you probably well realize, um, the, it, it's based around what I'm making and then discussing, you know, what I am making and things that are going on. So that's, that's the, the live streams in a nutshell. The videos, quite often I do have a loose script that I'm working on, but I, I tend to give myself like a list of bullet points that I want to get across. So what are you trying to help the person, you know, watching the video? So that's the essence of what we do with our videos is if somebody's interested in the process of making, you know, what are we trying to help them with today? What's the main focus? And then go through those bullet points and share them and, and explain them. Um, so yeah, that's the essence of what, what we do on that front. Uh, but they had a very rigid script. And for instance, they had me talking um, about St. Grimwin and not something, whilst I mentioned it and I'm aware of what St. Grimwin is and St. Grimwin's day, not a topic that, um, that I'm hugely What's the word? Learned in. And I suppose that goes to my background where I used to enjoy studying history. And if, I, if I'm talking about a topic, I like to know a fair amount about it. Right. Okay, we're not far off being able to finish this one off. So to finish it off, the first thing, I've got to put a little mouth on it. Like so. As I say, we're going to keep things quite simple. This one. So we've got one there. And we've got another one there. Just like so. We put a nostril, we put a nose. So where's my full stopper? There's one there, that'll do it. One like that. And one like that. And then we put an eye. One on each side. Nice and simple. Here we are. And that finishes off the carbon on that one there. As you can see, we put it on the belt sander, take that off, and then I will also use the belt sander to sand this one on the back. We put that base, possibly a couple of pieces of wood to secure where the candle holder, uh, where the candle, the little tea light and those electric tea lights that we use where they will go into. But a nice little project, a beautiful piece of ash. When we, um, when we put the shellac on, one method I use to show you the color that it comes up, just wet your finger like that, and then you could see it'll come up a nice sort of golden color with nice grain lines on it. There we are. Um, that's, yeah, are we gonna be seeing Thomas on, I just seen that one on TV? You will indeed, but I do believe, Mark, that it's towards the end of the year. I think it's sort of late autumn time. Um, but they do repeat us as well, because we have been lucky to be on a few TV programs over the years. 
I got no idea why they come back to us, but they do. So uh, yeah, all going well. You will see it. I tell you what we'll do. We will just change the focus two seconds, and I will zoom in. There it is. Zoom in like so. That's what we've made today. Hopefully, where is it? Yeah, like that. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing it. Hope you all have a great week. Um, we probably will do a live stream. It'll be Easter, it'll be Easter Monday now. Um, so enjoy the Easter weekend. And uh, as always, we'll be back soon with more videos, more demonstrations, and more live streams. Thank you all again. We appreciate the support. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, we went past, the other day we went past 7,000 subscribers, which are very, very uh, grateful for all the support that you've given us over the last few years. Thank you all.